Hello. So, good morning. So, we're back again to our online classes. Our Christmas break is already over. Hopefully, you have enjoyed your uh, Christmas break. And you are now uh, focused with our assumption of our classes. Uh, before we uh, discuss or we talk about uh, the general pathophysiology of, of, of cancer. So, now, we will go to the different um, organ that is uh, involved in uh, cancer. The first organ that uh, we will discuss will be the lung because or the lung cancer because the number one cancer killer in men and women will be the lung cancer. But uh, you take note that the number one cancer killer in men only will be the prostate cancer and the number one cancer killer in uh, women is the breast cancer. Okay. And also the incident uh, versus uh, mortality, the number one incident um, of having lung cancer is the prostate uh, and uh, breast cancer. Uh, and second will be the lung cancer. But then, sa mortality, nagkabalitad na sila, number one will be the lung cancer and number two will be the prostate and the breast cancer. And third, for the incident and the mortality, will be the colorectal cancer. Okay. Uh, for the pathophysiology of your uh, uh, lung cancer, a lung cancer usually arises from a single transformed epithelial cell in the tracheobronchial airway. Okay. There are two uh, type of uh, lung cancer according to location: the bronchogenic. Okay. This is for the bronchogenic. Okay, and your alveolar sa may bandang lang prangkaima. Okay, pag it's sa, sa bronchogenic naman, either it is centrally located, okay, or periphery located. A sample of your um, centrally located will be the uh, small cell cancer, cancer and the squamous cell cancer, while sa peripheral naman ay mga adenoca adenocarcinoma and large cancer. For your alveolar will be the bronchial alveolar uh, cancer. Okay. Ang mga um, cancer for the lung ay mga secondary lung cancer. Sila pa most common. Okay. Uh, ito ay may pinanggagalingan. Okay. Like for example, the most common sa women is the breast cancer. Okay. That the breast cancer is the primary um, uh, cancer which will be um, metastasizing to the lung. So, siya na maging secondary. So, they are called the metastatic breast cancer. Okay? Pag, we, pag man naman ang uh, patients, okay, the source of uh, metastasize will be the colon cancer. And thirdly, the renal uh, cell cancer. Okay? And um, the most common symptoms of, uh, symptoms of patients na merong secondary lung cancer ay dyspnea or shortness of breath. Okay? Sa primary lung cancer, kung nagkaroon ng primary lung cancer, sa incidence nito, sa men, okay, the incidence is already declining. Okay, kung ito sana yung graph, ito yung incident, ito yung time, okay, yung um, incident ng male ay pababa na sila. But then, sa, uh, sa female naman, ay pataas pa rin. Okay, or increasing. Okay, but then, uh, mas mataas pa rin ang incident of male, Okay, male than female. Okay, at ang nakikita the highest uh, incident rate are among black males. Sa age group naman, ay, uh, the, um, the peak incidence is seen on the age group of 55 to uh, 65 years old or average of 6 years old. Okay, so therefore, ang uh, lung cancer is a, uh, a, a cancer for aged uh, individual. Okay, pero... Uh, meron pa rin mga exception to the rule. Okay? Okay. At sa, sa survival rate naman, among uh, all cancer, ang lung cancer has a lowest survival rate of all cancer. Okay? So, ang uh, uh, primary lung cancer is divided into two, the non-small cell lung cancer and the small cell lung cancer. Okay? Majority of the primary lung cancer are, are uh, non small uh, cell uh, lung cancer okay about 60 to 80% of them are non small cell lung cancer 
while only 15 to 20 percent are small cell lung cancer. Okay, the most common um, non-small cell cancer um, is the adenocarcinoma for adult. Okay, take note that uh, for adult. Okay, but for children, okay, the most common non-small cell lung cancer is the bronchial carcinoid. Okay, take note about that. Okay, what will be the most common symptoms sa primary lung cancer? Okay, cough. Kung kanina sa secondary ay dysmia. Okay, sa primary lung cancer naman, it's the cough. And other uh, symptoms will be the weight loss. Okay, and, and this weight loss is unintentional, meaning hindi siya nagpapayat, but then mababa ng kanyang uh, timbang. About more than 10% of total body weight is lost in a very short period of time. Okay, nagkaroon din ng chest pain. Okay, hemoptosis or uh, vomiting of uh, of blood, okay, shortness of breath. Okay, magkaroon ng symptoms of hypercalcemia because uh, ang squamous cell carcinoma especially is nagsisikrit ng parathyroid hormone, okay, replicating peptide. Okay, meaning par nagsis nagsisikrit siya ng parang para uh, parathyroid hormone. And this parathyroid hormone will increase okay uh, calcium level okay in our blood okay so remember pag increase ang uh, ang ang para thyroid ang, ang calcium okay uh, the mnemonics grown thrown stones overtones and tones okay meaning groans masakit hindi siya uh, because of the increased calcium okay tumitigas ang tae nagkaroon ng constipation uh, because there's a, a presence of calcium in the urine, okay, it will uh, increase, okay, in urination, okay. Uh, the calcium might form into stone, okay, calcium kidney stone. At uh, ang calcium then, it will cause a problem psychiatry, magkaroon tayo psychiatric issues. And, okay, remember, okay, to rush or call for emergency, okay, if the patient uh, is already experiencing acute pancreatitis because this might cause a death for the patients. Okay. Uh, another signs of uh, primary lung cancer is uh, tachypnea. Okay, increase ang kanya respiration. There will be clubbing of uh, the finger. Okay, ang ibig sabihin ng clubbing the finger ay lumalaki yung dulo ng finger natin. Okay, Lum lumalaki siya. Because of nagkaroon na hyper, hypertrophic pulmonary osteopathy, meaning um, the cause of, uh, of uh, paglalaki is due to pulmonary problem. Okay? Uh, nagkaroon din tayo ng, uh, ng Horner syndrome because, di ba ganito ang, ang, ang lungs natin? Okay? Okay? So, kung ang, uh, ang, um, ang tumor, ay uh, tumubo dito. Okay, tumubo dito. Eh mayroong mga brachial plexus din yan, mga nerve supply going to your um, uh, lower upper extremities. Okay, mayroon din ganglion dito banda dito. Okay? Ganglion dito. So, pwedeng this uh, this um, tumor might impinge or or uh, Okay, if maipit itong mga nerve nito, okay, we will causing upper extremity weakness, okay, and shoulder pain, okay. The tumor, okay, na nag-ipit niyan is what you call the pancos tumor, okay. Pwede rin itong magdulot ng lumbar eton mesthetic syndrome because ang, ang, ang cancer ay uh, <coughs> in-inhibit niya ang secretion of your acetylcholine, okay. Remember that the acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. Okay, nakikita ito sa sa uh, neuromuscular junction or, or sa synapse, okay? Para mag-travel ang, ang 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 impulse from the from the nerve going to the muscle ay uh, kailangan ng acetylcholine, okay? To stimulate the muscle to contract, okay? But because of the secretion of your acetylcholine, nagkakaroon ng uh, decrease stimulation stimulation of your muscle, so nagkakaroon ng muscle weakness. Next, uh, what are the risk factors of your primary lung cancer? Okay, uh, una una, of course, the number one cause niya is the cigarette smoking. Okay, next is random gas, asbestos, coal dust, yung mga nagmimina ng mga coal, 
irradiation, air pollution especially, yung mga lumalabas sa mga sasakyan, mga diesel exhaust, yun, metals, even mga sakit like tuberculosis and, rheumato and rheumatoid arthritis, mga silicosis, both of the bay silica exposure. Okay? So, yung ayan, mga yan ay mga uh, pwedeng uh, mag-increase mag, uh, in um, potential of having a primary lung cancer. Okay? Uh, pag nagkaroon ng primary lung cancer, it might also uh, uh, metastasize to other part of the body, right? Okay? The most common um, site for metastasize will be your uh, healer lymph nodes. Okay? Ito ay nakikita sa may, kung ito yung lungs natin, okay? nandito yung mga uh, uh, healer lymph nodes. Okay? So, dito nagpupunta yung mga metastasize. Okay? Ang kwan dito, ang tanong, ang, ang usually tanong dito sa sa, sa uh, exam, that is a uh, painless, painless lymph node. Okay? A painless uh, enlargement of lymph node sa may uh, healer lymph node kasi hindi siya mapalpate because of the lymph canes. Okay? So, another uh, mga site of uh, metastasize will be your adrenal gland, gland about 50% of cases. I, uh, the metastasis is under the gland. Okay, 30% of cases will be naman sa liver. And about 20% will be on the brain. Okay? And also on the bone. Okay? In the formation of osteolytic. Okay, mamaya. Osteolytic. Now, <coughs> let's, let's um, differentiate the uh, different um, cancer of the lung. <coughs> Adeno, okay? Sabi nyo kanina, the adenocarcinoma is the most common um, in adult. Okay? Uh, while sa children is uh, on the bronchial carcinoid. Okay? Uh, ang location of adenoid is, sabi ko kanina sa periphery. Okay? Uh, sa squamous sa cell, squamous ka small, okay, is, is central, central. Okay? Para hindi nyo kayo malito. Squamous for the son of S and, and uh, for, the sen, uh, for the son of C. Okay? And also, they are very strong. Okay, itong ito, the small, kaka-size squamous are very uh, strong linkage to smoking. Okay? Squamous, centrally located, strong uh, linkage to uh, smoking. Small, central, strong linkage to smoking. Okay? Ganon din ang large. Okay? Pero ang large ay um, pwede makita mo sa sa peripheral or sa central, okay? Meron din siyang strong linkage to uh, smoking, okay? Ang adeno ay uh, weak ang kanyang linkage to, uh, to smoking, okay? Because um, ang percentage na nagkaroon ng adeno is more on female, okay? So, hindi sila masyado, nan ang female ay hindi masyado naninigarilyo, okay? While itong small uh, squamous at saka large, okay, more on male, okay, ang nagkakaroon nito. Okay? Uh, okay? Ang adeno ay mabagal lang siyang, mabagal lang siyang lumaki or, 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 or uh, mag-progress, but then, okay, mabilis siyang magmetastasize. Okay, tandaan nyo ito ha. So, ang nangyayari ay uh, hindi siya masyadong nadadiagnose. Okay, namimisdiagnose siya as pneumonia. Okay, at uh, ang iba naman as namabadiagnose siya as um, ARDS. Okay. Kaya pag nakuha na siya is late stage na, ay pwede nang uh, nasa stage 4 na yung pasyente. Okay. Remember, pag nakakita siya ng metastasize, ay that is already stage okay, 4. Okay? So, too late na. Too late na noong siya ay uh, na-diagnose. Okay. Uh, ito naman sa may uh, squamous, uh, Okay. Ito yung nagkakan ng parathyroid hormone uh, replicated na uh, peptide. So, nag, uh, 
nag-sisecrete uh, siya ng, ay nagkakos siya ng high serum calcium. Okay? Pero, bumababa bu naman ang, ang parathyroid hormone. Okay? Uh, um, Bale, conflicting yung, yung uh, nangyayari. But then, you, rem you, you should remember na ito ay na naninigal yun yung individual. Okay? So, man. Another, it's a small naman, it's a small um, uh, cell can uh, lung cancer. I uh, remember, ito ay rapid uh, ang kanyang pag, uh, paglaki. Okay? At nagkaroon ng metastasize early also. Okay? So, it also secrete um uh, dasa tirkulin in karon ng washing okay ah uh, karon ng um, uh, secretion also of your um antidiuretic hormone okay at saka yung associated with LEMS okay so yung kanina nagkaroon ng muscle weakness na yung pasyente sa is small okay yan Sa diagnosis, uh, para naman diagnose the patients who have lung cancer is um, they will perform a detailed medical uh, detailed medical history and uh, thorough medical examination, okay? Kung sa kung ang patients ay uh, meron siyang um, uh, risk okay? or high risk or belong siya sa high risk group of having a, um, a uh, lung cancer, okay? Ang mga lab test na ginagawa is your CBC, CMP, Okay, ng function test, which are the ASAT and ALT and bilirubin. Okay, your alkaline, alkaline phosphatase also, and sa sputum serology, acetology, kung uh, mayroong uh, cell, uh, uh, cancer cell na involved. At uh, uh, mga radiographic na pinaporporma will be your uh, contrast CT scan. Okay, this is uh, especially sa may bandang mediastinium. Okay. At ginagawa din ng CT scan of the abdomen, okay, as adrenal, because, okay, pwede magkaroon ng uh, uh, metastasize galing sa abdomen, sa liver or adrenal, okay? Sa pelvis naman, pwede din naman dito because of colorectal uh, uh, cancer, okay, na pwede dito nang galing yung metastasize, okay? Pag nagkaroon ng uh, suspect of lung cancer, okay, ay mag ay uh, pwedeng ito ay pag nasa labas, okay, nasa labas yung location, peripheral lang siya, okay, you suspect for adenocarcinoma or large cell, okay. Pag centrally naman, kaya na sinabi ko nga is, you suspect for squamous or small cell, okay. So yan, huwag niyo kalimutan yan, take note about that. Okay. Another test okay, to diagnose is your uh, uh, PET scan. Okay, ang ginagawit dito is they will give a, uh, a glucose kasi ang cancer cell eat a lot of glucose. Okay, ang sa PET scan ay nagsashine yung glucose na yan. So therefore, kung mayroong organ or mayroong mass that, that uh, shine, is uh, there is increased glucose in there and uh, um, a cell that eat a lot of glucose are mga cancer cells. Okay? They are uh, very uh, excellent in um, uh, viewing imagestinal masses. Okay? Pwede rin sa distal masses. Another is your MRR, MRI or CT scan of the brain. Okay? Para malaman if there is a uh, uh, lung metastasis to the brain. Okay? And then, how about chest x-ray? Test X-ray ay hindi masyadong magandang um, uh, diagnostic procedure because it's only 74% ang sensitivity niya. Okay? At uh, eh, since pwede naman gawin ang uh, CT scan, which is 94% ang kanyang sensitivity. Okay? So therefore, wag ka na masyadong mag magsend ng pera. Pwede, kung, pwede, kung pwede naman gawin na CT scan, pwede eh, mag-CT scan na lang. Kasi it is at nag-screening screening ang chest x-ray. Okay? So, pwede lumabas dyan sa exam ninyo ha. Okay. Another um, a diagnostic procedure na ginagawa nila is uh, performing tissue biopsy. Okay? 
um, either <coughs> approach niya ay bronchoscopy, okay, sa bandang transbronchal biopsy, mediastinoscopy, lang needle biopsy, at toraco scopic lang biopsy, or open lang biopsy, okay? Uh, depende sa location ito ay uh, depende sa location of uh, of the of the mass pag ito ay nasa gitna ang ginagamit ay mediastinoscopy okay so pag nasa bronchus naman pwedeng bronchoscopy lang okay uh, so yan so ang rational for approach is based on location of the answer kapag ang ang the mass is uh, palpable or or can be oscillated sa may bandang supraclavicular okay uh, high risk patient ang ang ginagawa nila dito ay nagkakaroon sa ng fine needle biopsy okay mababaw naman siya so pwede nilang tusukin na lang ng needle and then do aspirate okay and take an an, an um, sample or either kung medyo medyo malalim onte or they want a diagnosis and staging, they might excise, okay, to perform a excisional biopsy, okay? Kasi ito ay nakatulong in diagnosing and staging, okay? If meron naman na uh, effusion, okay, uh, due to uh, cancer, ay pwede silang mag-perform ng plural effusion cytology, okay? Sisip-sip sila ng fluid doon sa may plural space, and then they will um, uh, put it under microscope. Okay, tingnan nila yung cell if may mga cancer cell doon sa may plural space. Okay? <coughs> uh, dati, ang ginagawa dati ay close uh, plural biopsy. Okay? Pero ngayon, hindi na ginagawa ngayon yan. Kasi nasa advanced stage na tayo. Okay? May mga new technologies na okay, to perform other, uh, to perform mas uh, accurate uh, diagnosis. <coughs> Next. <coughs> also, uh, mga molecular uh, markers, okay, ay pwede sila kumuha sa sputum. Okay, anong mga yon? Ay yung mga <coughs> mga uh, makikita sila ng mga may marker na specific sa inyong cancer. Okay. Uh, pwede scam. Uh, pwede ito ay ginagawa pero operative staging of non-small cancer okay ginagawa ito bago operahan okay ito yung um, paano pag uh, st uh, pag uh, stages of your cancer okay remember the, your your TN uh, TNO uh, TNM okay pag uh, T ito yung size okay the N uh, will be the involvement of your lymph node while the M is the presence of metastasis, okay? Sa T1, ang uh, isang tumor will be graded as T1 if the tumor size is um, less than 3 cm uh, in diameter, okay? At not invaded the main bronchus. Ang T2, the tumor size will be already um, more than 3 cm but then less than 5 cm okay still not involved the entire lung okay sa T3 naman more than 5 cm na siya but then not less than 7 cm uh, 7 cm or it already invades the diaphragm the chest wall with the mediastinal pleura or the pericardium okay but can it can involve also the main bronchus but not the carina okay hindi pa siya nagco-cross Pero pag T4 na, ito ay malaki na, 7 cm na yung size. It already invades the mediastinum, the heart, great vessels, recurrent laryngeal nerve. So, ito sa pag T7, nagkakaroon na siya ng hoarseness. Okay? Iba na yung kanyang, uh, parang minamalat na lagi yung, yung, uh, yung individual. Okay? So, meron na siyang nasa T4 na. Okay? Uh, involved na ang laryngeal nerve. Okay? And also, it may uh, invade also the vertebra of the esophagus or carina. Dito sa lymph node naman, NO or N0, pag uh, no metastasize on the regional uh, lymph nodes, N1, 
uh, pag uh, ang metastasis is to FC lateral lymph nodes, um, specifically the peribronchial and the FC lateral hilar and the intrapulmonary node. Okay? Pag um, N2 naman, ang metastasis is still FC lateral. Okay, FC lateral meaning sa same side. Okay? The mediastinal and the subcarinal lymph node. Ang N3 is the metastasis in the contralateral or opposite side na. Okay? It involves your majestinal, your hilar, scalene, and your supraclavicular lymph node. Okay? Uh, sa, sa metastasis naman, pag uh, wala pang uh, in, uh, metastasis na sin is uh, M0. Pag meron ng distant metastasis, it's already graded as M1. Okay? Sabi ko kanina, pag meron ng metastasis, the stage will be stage 4. Okay? That is the end stage for cancer already. Okay? Uh, that's, uh, ito pala ay, ito pala ay uh, how to uh, grade or stage a non-small cell lung cancer. Okay? Sa small cell lung cancer naman ay may mas madali. Okay? Uh, gamit nila uh, of staging is the Veterans Affair Lung Study Group. Okay? Dalawa lang ang, uh, ang category niya is the limited okay, and extensive disease. Okay? Sa limited disease, ang um, the tumor is confined to the FC lateral hematorax. So, well, the extensive naman is the tumor has already metastasized outside of the FC lateral hematorax. Ibig sabihin, uh, lumipat na siya sa kabilang, uh, kabilang uh, uh, lungs or uh, hematorax. Okay? Ang uh, Ang uh, management dito ay hindi pwedeng gawan ng surgery, okay, to remove it because uh, the lung cancer is very small, okay? Hindi ito nakikita ng true naked eye, okay? So, the, the management is only through chemotherapy and radiation, okay? And remember or take note na a patient who has having a small cell lung cancer is the deterioration is very quick. So, dapat the treatment should not be delayed. Okay? Huwag mo sabihin na you go back to me after 2 months. Okay? Kasi after 2 months, okay, the cancer is already gone and also the patient this is already gone. Okay? So, don't delay the treatment. For the compl uh, complication, um, first is the paraneoplastic uh, syndrome. Okay, di ba sabi mo kanina, pwede siyang mag-increase ng, uh, ay mag-secrete ng parathyroid hormone replicating peptides. Okay, so nagkaroon ng hypercalcemia. Okay, another is metastasize. Uh, pwede nga, uh, ang metastasize is isa may uh, hilar lymph nodes. It is painless lymphadenopathy. Sabi ko nga to, number one. Okay, uh, binanggagalingan. Okay, adrenal. Okay, dito sa may kidney. Okay, liver. Okay, brain. Okay, and also bone as osteolytic lesion. Okay, malilit na ganyan sa may bone. Okay, so the patients might have a bad breath. Okay, and will attack the liver. Okay, so yun ang, ang pag na metastasize. Okay, another complication will be cachexia brought about by interferon gamma okay, and the cachexin alpha. Okay, um, bababa din ang kanya RBC because of normocytic, normochromic, uh, uh, bababa ang, inyong, ang, ang MCV. Okay, the normal MCV is 82... 100. Okay. So, bawa ba yan? Okay. So, another, either uh, complication might be brought about by the complication of treatment. Okay. And, of course, the worst complication is death. <coughs> Prognosis. <coughs> Sa non-small cancer, uh, this is operable. So, better than just a small cell lung cancer. Okay. Because, hindi siya pwedeng operahan. Malit masyado ang 
ang uh, cell nito cannot be seen through naked eye. Okay? Ang um, survival rate of your um, non-small cell lung cancer is about, um, sa, uh, sa 5 years, uh, median survival rate is 10%, okay, of individual uh, might survive for uh, for uh, 5 years, okay. While uh, small cell lung cancer, the 5-year median survival rate is only limited to uh, 10%. Or one to two, uh, to one to two percent extensive disease. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, interpretation about ninety-eight percent. Okay, of individual who have a small cell lung cell will die. Okay, so this is very horrible type of lung cancer. Let's go to the management of your non-small cell lung cancer. Okay, so stage 1, uh, they will perform surgery. Okay, the surgery that is that, that is performed will be lobectomy. Okay, or uh, after surgery, they uh, will give chemotherapy and radiation. Okay, uh, remember that the radiation uh, just uh, reduces the occurrence or the recurrence, but it doesn't prolong survival. Okay, the radiation. Okay, um, if cancer is positive for a GFR, okay, okay, or, or alkaline, ay uh, gumagamit sila ng targeted therapy. Okay, nagbibigay sila ng GFR, okay, uh, doon sa uh, mismong uh, tumor site. Okay, post-treatment, okay, itong tantan din nyo, ito yung ating concern as a nurse, itong ating advice ating pasyente, okay, uh, you should uh, tell your patients that for the first two years, okay, uh, dapat nagkaroon ng physical examination plus chest x-rays four times uh, in a year. Okay? So, after that, sa third, fourth, and fifth year naman is chest x-ray twice a year or sa more than fifth year is chest x-ray once a year. Okay? Or pwede mong uh, substitute ang CT scan for one X-ray. Like for example, ito, one CT scan plus three X-ray. Okay? Yan. So, and um, for stage 2 naman na, ganun pa rin, surgery uh, and chemo radiation, ito lang ang pinag-iba. So, stage 4, since this is already too late, okay, the management is only palliative, okay, meaning para maging mabuhay pa siya ng comfortable yung pasyente mo, but then hindi na ito treatment, okay. For the small cell lung cancer naman, eh, sabi mo kanina, is surgery cannot be done, okay, ang ginagawa lang dito ay chemo and radiation, okay. Sabi, uh, small cell cancer is too small to be seen by the surgeon. Kasi. Yan. Sa may uh, uh, pancus tumor, okay, sa may located on your superior sulcus, uh, superior sulcus okay, uh, sa may uh, lung apex, ang uh, type of cancer dyan ay squamous cell cancer. Okay? It will cause, sabi mo kanina, it horner, uh, Horner syndrome because of the impingement of your uh, ganglion, cer uh, cervical ganglion, okay? Ang, ang, ang mangyayari dyan, the symptoms of your Horner syndrome will be epsilateral ptosis, okay? Yung mata mo ay hindi masyado may, may, mabuk uh, mabukas, mayroong meiosis, okay? As an hydrosis, okay? Uh, pwede rin magkaroon ng uh, weakness of your uh, uh, shoulder, of your upper limb and, and uh, pain on your shoulder because naipit naman ang impingement of your brachial plexus, okay? So my, because of your pancus tumor. Okay? Uh, ang screening, okay, for uh, lung cancer, ang ginagamit for screening is your uh, low-dose computed tomography okay, or, or your LDCT. Okay, ito yung ginagamit nila. Okay, yung mga high risk for lung cancer. Okay, how often is annually. 
uh, kanino binibigay sa mga patients who uh, age for uh, uh, mga taon nila ay 55 to 74 years old. Kasi nga, ang mean age is 60 years old. Right? Okay? At saka yung mga taong uh, he smoke 30 packs per year and still smoke. Okay? Paano mo malalaman yung 30 packs per year? Okay? Uh, you Okay? Uh, kung ilan yung yung um, uh, uh, in a smoking in a day, like for example, uh, uh, 30, ay, ato, 20 stick per day, okay, uh, tapos, you multiplied by, okay, by the uh, day in a month, ilan ba yun? 30, tapos ilang taon na siyang naag, Um, nag-take uh, ng uh, naninigay like for example 20 years okay and then uh, divided by yung um, laman ng uh, ng sangka is 20 right okay. so yan so pwedeng ang nag-take niya ay kung 20 ay magiging Uh, six, uh, mga 60 packs per year na siya. Okay? At saka mga taong mga uh, stop smoking during the last 15 years. Okay? Uh, positive na uh, mag-beware tayo na nagkaroon tayo ng false positive. Baka mamaya nagkaroon ng uh, acceptance, uh, maging poor ang acceptance ng pasyente. Okay? Ay magkakaroon siya ng uh, uh, poor, poor coping mechanism. Okay? So, beware of your pulse positive. Uh, pending uh, complication also of your um, cancer is uh, what we call the superior vena cava syndrome. Okay? Ano nangyari dito is uh, the tumor will impinge the superior vena cava. Ano ba superior vena cava? It is that the, the uh, uh, big vein, a vein that is pouring onto your um uh, Uh, right uh, atrium, right? Okay? So, nangyayari, hindi ngayon nakakabababa yung mga uh, mga uh, blood coming from your upper extremity and from the head. Okay? So, anong mga nagkakos ito? Nagkakos ng uh, superior vena cava. Therefore, will be your small uh, uh, cancer cells and the squamous cancer cells. Okay? And even lymphoma. Okay? mga lip na lumalaki dito and secondary lang cancer kayo na rin metastasize. Okay? Ang mga non-malignant uh, that cause also the superior vena cama syndrome ay yung goiter. Pag lumalaki yung goiter dito sa my neck, okay? lumalaki yung aorta, okay? lumobo yung aorta or aortic aneurysm. Uh, there is a fibrosing mediastinitis or even a benign tumor. Okay? Might cause impingements of your superior vena cama. Sa, sa small or squamous lung cancer okay, na nagpe-press sa inyong uh, superior vena cava so therefore there will be less blood okay, that will drain from the upper body into the heart okay? so ang nangyayari there will be a congestion of pain in the upper body okay? so ang result nito there will be swelling of the face so ito yung vena cava mo right so hindi makabalik okay, ang, ang blood dyan so ang result is congestion of the vein Um, punong-puno itong vein na to. Uh, ang, at it, ang, the, the fluid might seep out okay? uh, from, the, um, uh, from the blood vessels. So, ang, ang result will be the swelling of your face and your neck. Uh, at kapag ito ay nangyari, there will be um, uh, opening of your venous anastomosis. Okay? Meaning, yung mga, mga tulog ng mga vein ay mag-open na sila para sila yung magdi-drain ng fluid or or blood from the upper extremity. So makakita ka dito ng uh, distended okay, anterior and anterior chest wall. Okay? So banda dito ay magkakaroon ng mga uh, distended veins. Okay? Uh, because of also the the fluid okay, that is trapped on your um, 
uh, on your uh, venous vena cava okay ay magkakaroon ng uh, oozing of blood in the capillaries kay na magli-leak sa surrounding tissue okay uh, pag napunta doon sa may lungs uh, the symptoms will be cough and dyspnea and then because of decrease sa um, Uh, blood returning sa may right atrium mo so decrease ang pumupunta sa circulation mo okay magkakaroon tayo ng hypotension bababa ang inyong BP okay kasi unti na lang yung pinapam out of the heart pinapam out ng heart okay nagdi-decrease ang ang uh, blood pressure okay paano mo ma-diagnose ang um, superior pericardial syndrome okay ang um, ang kanyang vital signs kay increase ang kanyang uh, RR kay increase ang kanyang pulse rate at ang BP ay decrease naman or hypotension okay sa inspection mo mo kay you will notice that the face is swollen puffy siya sa may uh, especially sa may uh, periorbital area okay kasi dito ang skin ay very thin kaya um, very noticeable yung swelling on this area. Okay? Magkakaroon din ng um, bluish purple discoloration in this area para siyang meron siyang uh, uh, black eye. Okay? Ang um, inyong neck will be swollen. Okay? Because hindi makababa yung fluid. Shoulder then is flowing. Okay? Yung uh, jugular vein is distended. Magkakaroon ka ng uh, distended um, Based on your anterior chest wall, okay? Okay, because of collateral uh, opening. Okay. Sa inyong palpation naman, uh, makikita mo, distended ang inyong ang mga vein, okay? Uh, pwede mo siyang empty at i-milk test mo siya, okay? Nandun yung mga fluid. Okay? Special test, pwede mong i-perform what we call the Pemberton sign. Okay, anong Pemberton sign is you ask the patient to raise both arms above his head. Okay, normally, kung hindi uh, wala tayong superior vena cava syndrome is walang mangyayari. Okay, pag meron superior vena cava syndrome, okay, a positive test ay magkakaroon ng facial swelling, neck swelling, coughing, dyspnea, and respiratory distress and even cyanosis. Okay, pero huwag niyong um, i- uh, Uh, mapagbabaliktad yung Pemberton sign at saka adeno, uh, Adson sign. Okay? Sa Adson sign, ito ay ginagamit sa may uh, thoracic outlet syndrome. Okay? Yung pero marang may, meron tayong sobra na cervical ribs. Okay? O kaya merong uh, lymphosarcoma. Okay? Ang ginawa dito sa Adson sign is you perform abduction and external rotation of the shoulder. Okay? Ang mangyayari is nagkakaroon ng Uh, nawawala yung uh, radial pulse mo. Okay? So, iba yung Perberton sign at saka yung Adson sign. Okay? Next, another test that can be performed to uh, assess for your superior Benacaba syndrome is through CT scan with contrast. Okay? Uh, maglalagay si ng dye doon sa uh, sa IV niya and then through CT scan makita nila yung dye Makita nila ay makikita nila yung mga blood vessels, makita nila na na yung uh, dye ay hindi dumiretso from superior vena cava going to your right atrium. Okay? So therefore, <coughs> makikita nila na uh, there's a decreased flow of the superior vena cava may be brought about by uh, lung cancer or lung tumor. Okay? Next. <coughs> ano mga complication of your superior vena cava syndrome, okay? Uh, if masyadong malaki, it will also obstruct your trachea. Okay? So, therefore, magkakaroon ng, ng uh, respiratory distress uh, because of decreased uh, blood going back to your right atrium, magkakaroon ng hypotension. Okay? Uh, bababa ang kanyang blood. Uh, ang heart natin will try to compensate by increasing uh, its uh, rate. So, magkakaroon tayo ng tachycardia. If uh, sa late stage na because of decreased oxygenation in different parts of the body, okay, there will be also cyanosis. Um, since yung uh, uh, eye natin ay um, uh, very um, sensitive to oxygenation, okay, it might cause a retinal hemorrhage. Okay? At ganun din ang ating brain. 
very sensitive to um, oxygenation if nagkaroon ng uh, uh, decrease uh, oxygen supply to your brain okay magkakaroon tayo ng stroke so how are going to manage your cervical uh, cervic, uh, your superior vena cava syndrome sa mild cases is just perform a head elevation and uh, you uh, give diuretics okay para ma-decrease yung uh, accumulation of fluid. Okay? And then, sa, uh, sa surgeon naman is you perform in, uh, endovenous stent. Okay? Mag maglalagay sila stent para um, i-bypass yung uh, part okay, na nagkaroon ng obstruction. Parang lalagyan na ng tubo para doon sila dadaan yung, yung flow. Okay? Bypassing the impeachment or the obstruction. Okay. Sa severe cases naman, due to cancer, <coughs> ay um, kasabi, pag uh, severe case na at um, uh, this is already a sign of um, uh, late stage, ay uh, palliative na lang yung therapy na pwedeng ibigay. Okay. <coughs> okay, let's go to the, to the risk factor. Okay, we already uh, mentioned before that the number one um, risk factor for lung cancer is the cigarette smoking. Okay, both um, uh, the first hand and the second hand. Okay, but then 85% of the first hand okay, will have um, lung cancer, and second second hand only 5%. Okay, ang uh, mga male smoker have a higher risk than the female smoker. Uh, sa mga non-smoker naman, uh, mga women has the higher risk okay, than men. Okay? So, tandaan nyo na, kung smoker, ang mayroong higher risk is the male. Pag non-smoker is the women who has the higher risk. Okay? And of course, the more cigarette you smoke, the greater the risk. The longer you smoke, the greater the risk. Okay? And um, ito, if you plan or you uh, uh, you will stop uh, smoking, okay, the risk uh, in developing lung cancer decreases. Okay? But then, uh, it will continue to decrease. And then, wait. Uh, the, the risk will decrease and continues to decrease as long as you don't smoke again. But, the risk will never be as low as a person who's never smoked. Okay? Meaning, bababa naman yung risk. Okay? Pero, uh, comparing sa hindi pa nag-smoke, ay mas mataas pa rin yung risk ng dati nag-smoke. Okay? Uh, your uh, pulmonary function test will also improve. Okay? Pero, it will never be as good as sa person who's never smoked. Okay? Okay? Another uh, risk factor is your asbestos, right? The asbestos-related uh, lung disease. Ito ay the most common pathology related to asbestos exposure is your benign prolar uh, effusion, okay? Ang um, the most common cancer-related naman is exposure is primary bronchogenic carcinoma, okay? Either adeno or small, okay? Uh, ito ay yung dalawang uh, most common. Uh, the second most common cancer related to asbestos exposure is your uh, meso uh, mes uh, mesothelioma. Okay? It, the mesothelioma is not related to smoking. Okay? Pero ito ay related sa asbestos. At remember that asbestos does not increase the risk of tuberculosis. Okay? Ito kasi ang misconception. Okay? The most common lung cancer and secondary lung cancer um, um, is metastasized, okay? not primary. Okay. So, ito yung mga management kanina. Uh, okay. Yung lobectomy is lobectomy, ito ay removal of the lobe. Okay. Ang pneumonectomy naman is only, ay is whole lung. Okay? Segmentomy, uh, segment, uh, segmentectomy is partial removal of the lobe. Okay? Kunwari, di ba may upper lobe, may, may, ito di ba? May upper lobe, medial lobe, okay? At sa lower lobe. Okay? So, ang, ang lobectomy ay tatanggalin yung isang lobe lang. 
Okay? Ang segmentectomy ay partial of the lobe. Okay? While pneumonectomy is tatanggalin buong lobe. Okay? Gets? Okay. After, uh, sabi ko after uh, surgery, they will perform or they will give chemotherapy or radiation as a, uh, as adjuvant therapy. Okay? Um, to ay uh, the chemo uh, the chemotherapy ito yung primary treatment sabi ko kanina po is small kasi hindi siya uh, pwedeng operan because the cell is uh, very small. Okay? It cannot be seen through naked eye. And then uh, magbibigay siya ng radiation and also it can be also given sa non-small cell cancer. Okay. Another radiation therapy is uh, used for localized intrathoracic lung cancer and also for palliation for hemoptysis, obstruction, dysphagia, and pain. Okay. Kung uh, nakakaramdam siya, kung, kung late stage na siya, okay, para to relieve the symptoms is they perform radiation therapy. Okay. So, as a nurse, itong ating mga nursing consideration or our responsibilities is we should assess for sign of superior benakama syndrome. Alam mo naman na yun kung ano mga, ano mga, mga uh, signs of your superior benakama syndrome. Okay? After post-lobectomy, uh, manage chest tube. Okay, maglalagay kasi ng chest tube yan para i-drain yung, uh, yung uh, either fluid or air na nandun is uh, dapat you should uh, check it kung, kung natatanggal yung drain mo talaga o kaya nagtitigilisi yung air doon, okay? Para to prevent uh, pneumothorax and pleural effusion, okay? Next is you assess respiration and for presence of pneumothorax or atelectasis. So, kaya sabi yung kanina kung nagkaroon ng air na or nagkaroon ng collapse of the, of the lungs na, okay? Uh, pneumothorax, air, Okay, on the pleural space, and the telectasis is the uh, nag-collapse yung lungs. Then, uh, you should position your patients uh, after uh, operation. For lobectomy, anong pagiging uh, post-op uh, position niya is you should avoid prolonged lying on the operative side. Okay? Kung kunwari, dito ang operative side is right. Okay? Wa hindi mas dapat huwag masyadong palaging naka-right side because yung uh, yung uh, nasa left okay na hindi tinanggal ay pwede siyang pumunta sa right side okay ay magkaroon ng mediastinal shift okay next is a uh, pneumonectomy naman position on the back of the operative side only okay sa so, may back on the operative side only okay pwede yung nakahiga back or sa side Kunwari, sa left, ang operative side is naka-sideline doon sa bandang left. Okay? Then, you start the patient to deep breathing, coughing, and ambulation, okay, to prevent um, uh, pneumonia. Okay? Pain management to promote deep breathing kung hindi siya masyadong uh, makahinga kasi masakit is, is you give uh, pain management and then uh, perform deep breathing exercises. Okay? And, uh, Tell your patients to uh, refrain from smoking, okay? Or uh, you refer the client to smoking cessation uh, management. Yung mga, mga uh, nag-manage nag how to control smoking. Okay? So, that's the end of uh, my lecture. Okay, see you again on my next video.